Mardi Gras artist in New Orleans is sanding down a sculpture for a float, even though there's no parade this year. The new normal? People are turning their homes into colorful spectacles to keep the holiday alive. Longtime NOLA resident Megan Boudreau had the idea for house floats back in November. I said, well, I'm just gonna decorate my house and I'll throw things at my neighbors. Everybody's got 200 pounds of beads in their attic from past Mardi Gras parades. Soon, homeowners across the city hopped on board. Like Carly Serkovich, who's adding the final touches to her coral reef inspired house float. So we're gonna actually utilize the palm trees that are actually in front of our house and we'll make little tiki huts. Now there's a larger effort to connect out-of-work artists with homeowners. As soon as the city of New Orleans canceled the parades, that caused a chain reaction of laying off a bunch of artists. So we launched it on uh, December 4th. It's called Hire a Mardi Gras Artist. We built a website that can take donations. And every time that we raise another $15,000, we are able to put a whole team of people to work. Artists work with homeowners to choose the theme, material, and a day to install the designs. Are we allowed to scoot in the trim? Which windows need Which? to not be covered on the top? These two front ones? As long as those center ones can open somewhat, okay. I think that's fine. Then the decorating begins. Like this Golden Girls inspired house float created by local artist group Stronghold Studios. Oh my god, Betty White looks unbelievable. People that call us up and they say, my theme is purple, green, and golden girls. I want all four golden girls. There's this crazy chicken in my neighborhood. I want him to be a part of it, you know, and then, <laughs> it, and then it just kind of snowballs from there. The idea has been so successful that artists are now struggling to keep up with the demand. We're doing in two weeks what normally takes a year. I think if I didn't sleep from now until Mardi Gras and just worked and worked and worked, it wouldn't be enough. That's how much demand. Now we you know, went from no employees to we have anywhere eight. from six to eight employees here every single day, six days a week now. It's a surprise and a relief for many. If you would have asked me in August, I would have said there's no way Mardi Gras is going to happen in 2021. But Mardi Gras is a centuries old festival that's rarely ever canceled. The celebrations are rooted in Christian traditions. They're meant to mark the last day of Carnival before the 40 day period of fasting leading up to Easter. New Orleans has been holding float parades since at least the 1800s. The celebrations have made it through the most extreme weather conditions, like Hurricane Katrina. The city's coming back and this just proves it. It's only been canceled once in over 40 years because of a police strike in the 70s. Today, the party is a cultural phenomenon. But 2020 was a wake-up call. Mardi Gras celebrations turned New Orleans into a coronavirus hotspot. COVID-19 cases spreading fast after Mardi Gras. 3,000 people infected, hospitals full. The first confirmed case of COVID-19 in the state was from an individual who tested positive in the New Orleans area, 13 days after the end of the iconic party. In November, the city announced it was canceling 2021 parades altogether, a major loss. The event can bring in $500 million to the local economy and business owners felt the impact. The cancellation of Mardi Gras this year is definitely like losing the soul of this city. There is going to be a loss of not having that revenue um, at this time for the season of Mardi Gras. But we hope that this is the only time that we have to cancel Mardi Gras and we don't have to do this again next year. It's a devastating blow to a difficult year, but the city is coming together to help those hurt the most. From mid-March to December 1st, we had one job. So that money, you know, we stretched it as far as it, we could. And I think we had that hard conversation on whether or not we should close our doors. And then the next day we got the house floats calls started coming in. So it's been a, a real reversal of fortune.
The Hire a Mardi Gras Artist Program and others put much needed money back in artist pockets. We've created jobs for 40, 45 people. We've raised over $200,000. We have 20 projects that are funded and we're gonna keep working to get them you know, ready for Mardi Gras, which is February 16th. And that's how New Orleans is keeping Mardi Gras alive. I think this year is the year to focus on the artwork. This just gives us a unique opportunity to elevate the artist and to really show people what we can do. And they can, you know, go see the work up close and really appreciate how it's, it's being made and who's making it. And so I think that's really powerful.